As panic about the COVID-19 virus continues to grow, store shelves are starting to look exceptionally picked over, and certain household items are in very short supply. Some frantic shoppers have clearly gone from stocking up to straight-up hoarding. But if you didn't empty your bank account and fill your spare room with thousands of rolls of toilet paper, and we really hope you didn't, should you be worried about running out of TP in the days and weeks ahead? No, you really shouldn't be worried at all. Toilet paper is certainly useful to have on hand, but it's actually a fairly modern invention, dating back to the mid-19th century. On the other hand, we've always needed to relieve ourselves, and the desire to clean up the mess probably dates back to prehistoric times. So how did we go about this unpleasant business back in the days of yore? Well, in ancient Greece, shards of broken pottery were, shall we say, repurposed. Meanwhile, back in ancient Rome, people gingerly cleaned up using a sponge. Our colonial ancestors reportedly made an exceptionally practical use out of corn cobs, and in a pinch, humans have been known to use grass, leaves, and moss to keep themselves spick and span. No, we aren't recommending any of these solutions, because we haven't completely lost our minds. At least, not yet. But if you ever find yourself in a pickle, you can always use Kleenex, paper towels, or baby wipes. Just don't confuse the latter with disinfectant wipes. Trust us on this one. And should any of these supplies ever run low, there are several DIY toy toilet paper substitutes that are also readily available. One of the cheapest and easiest options? Reach for some other type of paper. For example, let your fingers do the walk-in and use the yellow pages. Since really, when was the last time you actually used a phone book for its intended use? And who says print is dead? You can also use newspapers to get the job done, or printer paper or notebook paper. Heck, even that steamy Harlequin romance novel will do the trick. It might even be preferable to reading it. No one touches the heart of a woman quite like Harlequin. And here's a bit of advice from the website Ask a Prepper. If you crumple up the paper before using it, you'll soften the material. Of course, flushing any kind of paper besides TP is a bad idea, but you can burn it or simply toss it. No, it's not an ideal solution, but our current predicament isn't ideal either. Do you have any old washcloths lying around? Well, now could be the perfect time to put them to use, but don't flush them when you're done. Otherwise, grab a towel that's well past its prime or perhaps use a raggedy t-shirt. And if you happen to have some cloth handkerchiefs on hand, those will surely do the trick, too. Actually, it's not a bad idea to buy a few handkerchiefs if you don't own any, because no one's hoarding them and they're readily available at Walmart. Hankies are actually a great solution, since you can rinse them off after use and then simply toss them into the laundry. And then there's the most obvious solution, water. While you can always take a shower after finishing up, that might not be entirely necessary. A spray bottle will also do the trick, although you should have a towel at the ready in order to dry yourself. According to the website Toilet Paper History, yes, it's a thing. About 75% of the world's population doesn't even use toilet paper. The website Road Junkie points out that you won't find TP in bathrooms in many other parts of the world, including North Africa, the Middle East, and much of Asia. That's because many people believe that the best and only way to clean yourself after going number two is to use water. If you're really concerned about running out of toilet paper, why not consider buying a bidet? Honestly, that might be the most cost-efficient and the most sanitary workaround during these increasingly strange days. Think about it.